I wanted a pitching mound that my boys could grow with. My searches for a portable pitching mound never gave me the results I wanted, so I took matters into my own hands. Here's a list of some of the items I used to build our portable pitching mound. I figured if I was searching for my kids, then there had to be others searching for their kids as well. I could have easily bought one for hundreds if not thousands of dollars, but I chose to save my hard-earned money and build one for a lot cheaper. As you can see with this video and the instructions included in the description below, you too can save money and build this for about 150 bucks or less. After my initial cuts to my lumber, which are detailed along with this video, I began cutting my support boards. Most of the mounds that I researched were four foot by eight foot in total length and came in about two main pieces. One for the flat section and one for the completed slanted section. This is not the portable solution I was looking for. I created one with three sections which total three feet by eight feet. This all fits into my Dodge Caravan. I removed some portions of the wood with my jigsaw to reduce the weight of each section as you can see in these clips shown now. I used a drill to create the corners of the section that I would be removing with my jigsaw. After a few cuts, the support boards began taking shape. This section here is the base for the pitching rubber, and these two sections are for the slanted section of the mound. This is a view from under the pitcher's box, and this is a view of all the three sections together. We used some rubber mats for the exercise equipment for a more natural feel under our turf. This was secured to the structure with liquid nails. As you can see, the middle section overlaps the final section. All three sections can be stored in a 3x3 area. Here you can see how each section looks from below with multiple supports beneath each section. With all of the exercise mats secured with liquid nails, it was now time to cut the turf and secure it with more liquid nails as shown here. I went ahead and allowed the mound's own weight to disperse the liquid nails by stacking each section. Once the turf was completed, I took some heat to the edges to stop the turf from coming apart. As you can see, I added a visual white line to help with the stride. Here are some clips of it completed and in use during our practices. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up and feel free to share this with anyone you think might be interested. We also do family vlogs on YouTube at youtube.com slash erictv365, where we document just about everything in our lives, including our kids playing baseball. If you would like to see more of that, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.